already installed the backplate for our CPU cooler because we've got an LGA 700 socket we need to have these pins on the backplate pulled all the way to the outside and then it should just be a simple matter of lining it up with the holes in the back of the motherboard. And then we've got one of these spacers to go into each corner it is important to use the ones labeled 1700. Next we can set our IO into the case and then I'm going to set our fans into place in front of the radiator. What we're going to do now is use the long radiator screws, pass them through the case, through the fans and into the radiator. And this can be a little bit tricky because the screws are literally just long enough to reach the radiator and no more. And it is quite tricky to get everything lined up. But importantly, once we get the bottom fan on, the rest should be a little bit easier. We've got a cutout at the top of the case. So I'm just going to bring all the fan cables up and pass them through to the back. The AIO comes with this triple fan splitter cable, so all I'm going to do is plug each of the fan cables into the splitter cable. So there's one, take our second one and plug it into here. And then our third one into here. I'm then going to pass the other end of the cable through to the front of the case. And you'll notice at the top of the motherboard we've got two fan headers. The one over to the left is our CPU fan header and the one over to the right is our CPU pump header. So we're going to want to plug into the one on the left, the CPU fan header. So we'll line the cable up with the header, push into place and then pull the excess cable through to the back. We're now ready to install our pump. So the first thing to point out is we're going to have to install it with the tubes at the bottom to have the logo up the correct way round. Now this bit that has the RGB on it is removable from the pump itself. We just need to pull it off. It's magnetically attached and then it's going to be much easier to install the pump without the cover on it. So we're now ready to install the bracket that's going to secure the pump to the motherboard. You'll notice we've got thermal paste pre-applied to the cold plate and we've got this bit of plastic protection on. I've left the plastic protection on as long as possible so we don't damage the thermal paste on the cold plate. But to install the bracket we are going to have to remove it. So it's just a matter of pulling the plastic off. And then once it's off, I'm going to take real care not to touch the thermal paste. So what we're going to do now is set our Intel bracket into place at the top of the cold plate. And one of the really cool things Deepcool have done with this cooler is they have made the screws magnetically attached. So all we need to do is set the screw into place and it's going to hold there. And then we can screw it into place with a screwdriver. The same thing at the other side. Same thing at the bottom, we'll set the bracket into place, set the screw into place. Okay, so just before we install this in the case, I want to show you what I like to do with the cables. So in general, I like to wrap the cable around the bracket, so it helps organise the cable up towards the top of the motherboard. It is important that you make sure the cable doesn't go anywhere near the cold plate, but it just means the cables are going to look that wee bit tidier. The other thing that I'm going to do, as well as this pump cable, We've also got our ARGB cable that comes from this removable bracket. So I'm just going to set the cable up here before I install it as well. Okay, so that's our two cables wrapped around the bracket. And I'm then just going to set them into place. And then we're just going to need to secure the bracket to the case with a thumb screw on each corner. So I'm also just making sure that both our cables are nice and free and well away from the cold plate. And then we can tighten up each corner in turn. At this stage, we can then return the cover to the pump. So we've now got our two cables to plug in. Our pump header is this one at the top right-hand side of the motherboard. So we can line the cable up and push into place. And then I'm just going to route the cable up and through to the back of the motherboard. The RGB cable, again, I'm just going to route up and bring it through to the back of our motherboard. And we've got two ARGB headers at the top of the motherboard. So I'm just going to bring the cable back in from the side and get it plugged into this header at the top. And then we'll just pull all the excess cable through to the back. We've then got some plastic protection here that we need to remove. And then we need to choose which way we're going to have the tubes. So we can have them over towards the right hand side. But that actually has the tubes running very straight and quite a tight bend. What I think I'm going to try is having the tubes pass down through the 24 pin cable and coming down to the bottom on this side.